Hey there everybody, it's me, Joey P, Joe Pizzapia, and welcome to five things that I know. Week five in the NFL, yes, five and five is ten, that's what we call math in the business. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's get to it, and let's start with the theme this week, which is basically players on the way back. Yay, hooray, players you've been waiting for that have been suspended, players that you're waiting for that have been hurt are making their way back, and the first one I want to talk about, number one, is Joe Mixon. So he's healthy enough. He's going to give it a go against Miami. That's really good news. Gio Bernard has been very good, but the thing I want to watch for is how that mix goes for the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, game theory-wise, one would think game script would lead to the Cincinnati being up by a fair amount over Miami, and that, since it's a road game for Miami, that Mixon would get more volume. But Gio's been very, very good in these couple weeks here when Mixon's been out. So let's see how that timeshare shakes out now that Joe Mixon is back. That's definitely something to watch. Number two, the second thing to watch for in the NFL this week is Julian Edelman's return. And with him, the Tom Brady rejoicing that's going to come. Yes, he's going to be doing a little dance. His best friend is back on the field. That means in PPR leagues and half PPR leagues. Hell, even in standard leagues, it's time to fire up Julian Edelman again. They certainly missed him in that offense. He is how they move the chains. I know the running game was terrific last week, but we all know Patriot football is about moving the chains with Julian Edelman. So look for him to get back in action very quickly with Tom Brady. The third thing I want to talk about, another return. It's Mark Ingram. Kamara coming off another huge, spectacular, unbelievable game. So many superlatives, I just don't know how many I have left. But Ingram is important not just for the offense, for the defense of the Saints. Yes, I said it for the defense because defensively speaking, they need to control the ball a little bit more, okay? So the Saints going out there, I would imagine Mark Ingram in his first game back, you're going to see about 15 carries or so from Ingram, possibly more in this one. And I think he's going to be very active. Plus, you also like him around the goal line. If you got Mark Ingram, you're firing him back up. You're not waiting. You're jumping right in because it wasn't an injury, so there's no reason to hesitate with him whatsoever. Goes right back in your lineup immediately. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. All right. The fourth thing that I'm looking for is the Jacksonville offense without Leonard Fournette. He's going to be out again. I know it's frustrating, but more specifically, Blake Bortles. It's a very good matchup for Bortles against that Kansas City defense that gives up way too many yards. And I think that what we're looking at is the emergence of D.D. Westbrook in this offense. That's a very, very good thing uh, for Blake Bortles. So I'm looking for Blake Bortles and where his go-to guy is going to go. You saw Cole one game. You saw some Moncrief. But really, D.D. Westbrook is the most explosive and the most talented. And let us not forget, all the way last year, the guy we really wanted to make happen. Now it looks like he's happening. So get on board with it, will you? I mean, God, there's no pleasing you people. All right, the final fifth thing that I'm looking for in Week 5 of the NFL is in that same game. It's how Patrick Mahomes handles this Jacksonville defense. Now, look, I know that Mahomes has been brilliant. I know he's undefeated, and I know that absolutely Denver has a great pass rush and is a good defense, but it's not Jacksonville. Let's see how he does against Jacksonville. I think he's going to do well, so I'm not sitting Patrick Mahomes here against Jacksonville, but it's certainly a test worth watching to see what he's really made of when he gets that kind of a pass rush plus that kind of a secondary to go against. We shall see how he handles it, but it's definitely something worth watching. All right, you can follow me on Twitter at JoePizzaPia17. You can check out all the great content at FantraxHQ.com. Head over there right now when you're done watching this video. For everybody here at Fantrax, I'm Joey P. Stay on track.